Hi, welcome back, you to my channel. I've been every day encountered a typical life of an SBA. It's brought put to my attention pretty much that at this moment of time that I have been, while doing my videos, I have been getting certain thought patterns as well as maybe, you know, certain words of nasty words that comes a flip bang on certain things like of basically if I'm seeking for attention or whatever I may be doing right now, why sh I'm order to say this why should I be answering to all this but then again like many people may think I'm gaining sympathy or some sort of attention but then again not really the case how I feel about it, it bugs me to the core that sometimes that when people do tend to think this or even want to say it online that you know I'm seeking attention or talk behind my back or whatever the case may be sort of thing that they should at least have the courage to at least maybe talk about it to me if they had a problem even though that some people just too afraid to I guess um, I know I'm no perfect saint or just a perfect person. I'm just like you, pretty much. I'm putting is I feel that I have the right to have my say and peace, and regardless of what it may be, just like you guys have a right to say your peace. And like I keep saying, it's all about accepting each other's differences of opinions or thought patterns along the way. Even though sometimes some people I know ain't worth the case of basically, you know, taking it on board. You know. I'm just like any of you, however, minding my own business, trying to share what I have to say, or just minding my own business, but it's the point where I just do what I have to do, and what I feel comfortable in doing at the time. What I'm trying to do here, as I said so many times before, I want to just try to aim for my goals on my channel, basically, to create an awareness, understanding, a knowledge of my condition and stuff, as well as any other things that may come to play, of whatever it may be. I know for a fact it takes guts and courage for people like me to actually share our stories and life experiences based on whatever we are going through in any day and age. You know, two, two hands up for there for them, for the ones that are brave enough to share their stories and that regardless of what maybe people may think, be it, like I said, for attention, seeking, sympathy or whatever it may be. Um, I feel that, you know, regardless that it does take courage, as I said, for people to share their personal opinions and thoughts of what they go through every day you know everyone's going through something you know i feel that we need to be real and ex just accept the fact that whatever it is that we shouldn't have to keep quiet no more and actually bring it to the table of what's going on in our lives maybe to create an awareness and understanding and we should be able to stand up and actually say to yourself enough is enough we shouldn't have to stand alone on our journey pretty much and hopefully find the right support networks basically even though many people tend to think that you know that just oh, sitting there in silence with their battles is the way to go even though sometimes it will creep up on us that a wave of emotions and everything else will take over and actually then you know bouts of depression and anything else will come our way As I've learnt so, ever, so far, and I'm trying to learn it every day, I'm not super here trying to fit everything in one day and be it whatever I'm planning to do. Sometimes I need to like, let loose and try and be flexible, give my timetable of flexibility, despite the routine I have sort of thing, you know. I can't do everything in a day to a point of being the superwoman, helping people, as I said before, basically putting on different hats, be it a mentor, be it a you know, supporter, be it an advocate or whatever and the case may be, sort of thing. Because at the end of the day, though, however, I feel that, you know, there comes a time and a point that I need to withdraw myself from certain situations or people around me so I can have time to reflect on everyone so I don't, I don't have so much to carry and things that will overwhelm me to the point, you know. I'm trying to be open and honest and real with everything that is around me, regardless of what I go through in life. I know that many people may not agree with everything I say or do on my channels, but this is just me. You know, it's just how I go about it. You know, it may not be to the point where you want to go in life and accept it, so to speak. You know, please be real here though about my intentions, sort of thing. It's not all about being popular, getting the views. Yes, it will be nice to connect with everyone that is similar with me, that goes through different situations in life, be it, you know, breakups, be it, you know, 
depression or whatever else of the other topics that I have been brought forward so far in my journey of this video blogging. I just pretty much want to connect with people as well as basically giving an eye up now and understanding on how I work as well as sending out messages of encouragement as well, basically as well as support sort of thing. It may not be the way you want to hear it of some certain advice, but then again, you know, everyone's different. I'm doing this video blogging series of mine as an awareness and understanding for you all. And hopefully that despite that in the community of YouTube, as well as on the internet itself, it saddens me that there can be so much hate when people do come out of their shell, be it, you know, being different gender types, be it if people have mental illnesses like depression, bipolar, um, AS and the like, so to speak, just to, you know, share what they're going through. I am humble to what I've been sharing with you and I'm thankful for the ones that are basically trying to show your support throughout all this sort of thing since, as you know, that's nine times of ten when I'm down and out. I'll keep to myself sometimes nine times out of ten I might just, you know, write in my diary or even just my thoughts onto the screen and not bring it out to how I feel sometimes because I feel like nine times out of ten when I speak my thoughts and opinions, the moment that some people slam me down, even though some people say they don't, but then again, you know, it's like choosing my friends wisely, I'm trying to learn right now, not everyone's there for the ride. Basically I've learned also though, however, that Despite what this person said to me, and my social circle about matters of opinions, you know, we all are all, you know, dicks about it, you know, with our matters of opinions. But then again, you know, how we go about our matters of opinions is obviously is up to us how we're going to choose to react and think on it and whatnot, whatever it can be. You know, I feel that, you know, I have my good days and bad days like anyone else, and I just, like I said, want to think. For the ones that has been there supporting me. And I believe that too. Who, what I share. Some of you can relate. However to what I share. I'm based on my own thoughts and experiences. And that we shouldn't have to feel afraid. Or judged. Or misunderstood. To a point that maybe we should need to just. Hopefully connect in a way together. So that, that's why I created on my page. On Facebook. As to be for people like me. To not feel judged and insecure pretty much if they wanted a private message me for someone to talk to sort of thing a little safe network where hopefully even though I'm monitoring it's at the moment that there should be no hate messages as such just to bring each other together and connect with one another and build each other up one way or another I feel that no matter what when we come together we shouldn't be feel hated judged or you know create create some sort of sticky situation. I feel that in this moment of time that we should be able to feel love, accepted, wanted, appreciated and commended for what we do and what we love to do. Like the saying goes, do what you love, love what you do. With the support we can give to each other, we should just be able to throw away all the hate sort of thing and turn it into the positives and basically, you know, be open-minded to people's differences, however. Pretty much I believe with the word attention seeking and my viewpoint of it is sometimes some topics are really sensitive and even though some of the topics that we bring out are real and our reality of what we go through, sometimes we are the one braver ones that are bringing out those topics even though some of them hasn't been addressed as of yet even though they are real sensitive and sometimes some people may fear that they, they'll get judged upon or even an, another reason for this is with this attention seeking label mentality is because many people tend to be insecure of doing it themselves or speaking out on what's going on around them and that hopefully in this day and age that they don't have to feel that way. I feel that sometimes that despite the lack of knowledge, know-how, lack of awareness, lack of basically research based on you know the terminology attention seeking why should it be because i know for a fact knowledge and awareness plays an important part i hope and i'm hoping that when others are being open and honest and real about certain things about creating that awareness and listening to see what's to you all that you're all not alone however as we all have our story we all have our struggles sort of thing and it's okay to ask for help now and again and it's like 
it's not okay to feel like we are judged and we should be put in a box and just left forgotten pretty much when we do try to speak out you know as I've learned now you know of what I've been through it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to do what we feel is right sort of thing but then again need to be wise of how we go about it I guess um, sometimes however we shouldn't be hiding away our problems and sometimes with the problems around us sometimes some other people that just hate on us basically may have their own issue despite it all of their insecurities jealousy and whatever else and pretty much that they shouldn't be picking on us based on their problems that maybe they're facing in denial of it pretty much they need to realize that they're the problem not us even though some of the problems that they may be facing in reality is basically you know a jurisdiction or perception of us of what they're going through maybe you know um but i shall say this that we're getting them and reaching out to people slowly there is a change, sudden change movement of what's going on that many people are coming out of the shell thinking that now's the time to share their story. It was said before, good on the ones that are, that's creating that awareness or whatever it may be of their, you know, aims and goals for their blogging. I believe that no matter what we're going through, we need to be real and still create an awareness that we shouldn't be labelled as attention seekers, however. People are being true and honest about their lives and stories that they're telling, you know, of what they wish to share. Sharing, for example, that you have a mental illness of some kind, be it like depression, isn't attention seeking at all. No, it's far from it. So I'm hearing you guys may be thinking, say what? Or even saying it out loud. What do you mean by this? This is due to our brain as our strong organ, as part of the body that helps us to think, you know, relate and emotions and all that you know you can say or think that others are sharing with you that they what they're going through that they're lying attention seeking and more in your negativity yet most importantly how do you and how would you know if they didn't share their story in the first place as i said before feel maybe they they're having a bad day killing up in bed thinking that they're not worth sharing their story whatever they're facing you know how do you basically to just tear them down how Ever. like I said high fives to the ones that are sharing these stories it's not easy basically on how you're thinking or feeling before you did share the story but then again with the ones that are sharing these stories would you care less up to what they're sharing with you if they were going to share their life story it's up to you however how you go about wanting to listen or not We can't blame others on the circumstance of what may be coming ahead of us, be it like if we came up from a break, breakup, so then it's dragging us down and then we have, when we're socialising with people we shouldn't have to point the finger and blame others around us, how was it that they were the problem that caused that breakup. Maybe we need to sit down and reflect, as I said so many times before, on what needs to be said and dealt with. I see and feel a lot of hate on others or in others around me sort of thing that needs to be more there needs to be more love and support however even though I'm trying to do the ripple effect showing that I care and everything around me but then again you know everyone's different is that there are aims and goals to fulfill in my channel as I said sometimes or most of the time we need not to be able to have to defend ourselves or even to the point to found our life story on this is the truth you know we just need to be real and honest about that or having to explain what is on our mind or having to explain also another example of how we go about our behaviors to what we should do and shouldn't do in our lives if we know in our hearts it's the right thing to do be it like for example video blogging and we feel in our heart a strong topic be it whatever it may be you know so be it if someone's gonna hate on us then i guess that's just life in general you know I just feel sometimes we shouldn't have to justify to our actions that we are all different. We need to accept our differences and actually embrace them. Love ourselves as well as people around us. You know, even though we can't always excuse the behaviours or thought patterns of others around us on how they react to what we say or do sort of thing towards them. These hate messages people put on, on sites and other people's medias for them just to make them feel better. It's up to us again and how we respond People that hate put hate messages and negativity online 
are, as I've said so many times before, jealous, insecure, and more. They just want to tear others down just because they're too afraid to do what they feel in themselves to do. Is what they believe in, you know, is real. What we're doing is right. I know now I'm making a bold statement on my own to share my experiences and stories on this channel, pretty much. And I know for a fact, as I carry on my journey, there will be a lot of hate and jealousy through certain people in my life, circle, social circle, shall we say. Even though sometimes I have now sat down and reflect who should be in my circle and who shouldn't be. For the ones that are, you know, tearing me down with the negativities, you know, sometimes I feel despite the chances I've given them that sometimes they might have to have that one strike you out rule. Um... There's always going to be people as well as the hate and negativity online, despite this is a growing phenomenon. The internet isn't an excusable place to hate on people, however. If you have problems with people and you're hating on them, you know, just because of what they're doing on a YouTube channel, so here's say, look, I'm doing, why should you do it? You should at least maybe confront the person. And if you, if you feel that they're going to not give you the right advice that you want to hear, then maybe go find someone else to harass, maybe, sort of thing. I said... As I said before, change is coming and it's really fast of this change. We need to be ready and to accept anything about ourselves to change, even if it is what we need to reflect on ourselves of what needs to change. Mental health disorders can't be controlled or cured, yet it can be manageable. As I said in my de-anxiety and de depression series of my video blog, it can be manageable to the point in our lives with you know medica self-medication or self-therapies of what we need to do. Pretty much this ends my topic of pretty much coming out and uh, am I intentions thinking or not, pretty much. Put your thoughts on th onto the comments below, pretty much, or even just private message me on SBR. All, all, my, all my contacts is up there for now, what I want to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.